So I was, uh, we were talking about how to frame this conversation and uh, uh, that Reggie will mostly take over after this, but what I wanted to do is just provide a bit of, um, of consolidation of ideas um, that, that emerged from the debriefs, more specifically uh, from the first day, um, but also the ongoing conversation that's been, uh, that's been happening. Uh, and so I don't want to take too much time, maybe a couple minutes, but um, what I found as the strengths so far, um, to start off on a very positive note, is that there is a huge window of opportunity knocking. There's the development plan, the, the coming up, the cycling and walking action plan coming up, the climate action plan. There is an abundance of financing. Uh, there is supportive upper management in DCC, uh, a new active travel unit, so providing sort of the structural human resource aspect, um, not to mention passionate and very talented staff uh, that also um, is uh, aiming to grow. Um, a catalog of infrastructure pilots, demonstration projects uh, going in, have been been in, uh, and what has become more and more clear to me, a very strong base of support um, among a focused group of stakeholders. And focus, I think, meaning you know there is, uh, there is room to grow, um, and that's where I will begin with this uh, ideas of, um, of consolidation from the debriefs. Um, the main idea that, that came out from Tuesday was this idea of broadening. How do we broaden cycling uh, to engage? Um, and the first uh, sort of sub-point of that was around language. Um, and we had a lot of great comments about uh, humanizing the conversation. How do we promote uh, and campaign for cycling that brings in stories um, rather than presenting facts? Uh, broadening the notion of cycling as, uh, from uh, an efficiency point of view, from an A to B, to more about uh, bringing people together, enjoying the city, experiencing the city. Um, and one way to do this the, that came out of the, the discussion was new forms of qualitative data to gather these stories. Uh, and then to construct messaging and language that's unique for, uh, for Dublin uh, residents and, uh, and road users. Um, and also by doing that, you engage very early on because you're gathering uh, their input. And then leading from this, this story and language perspective um, to also broadening the coalition of support. Um, and uh, so building off of this, this very focused group of support, um, the, the, the most focus we've had right now on, in this symposium is around the counselors. How do we build um, a broader base of support from, uh, from council members? Um, and this was a quote from Neve, I think, I think. Um, uh, how do we, um, what do our counselors need um, from uh, you know, from the executive team to take on the role of champions, um, to, to champion our scheme, uh, to give them the confidence to step in into a leadership role. Um, and I think this can emerge from what we saw today with the business community. I mean, there were so many people there. I was really impressed from all different types of institutional stakeholders uh, to people on the ground who uh, on the street, uh, the street level bureaucrats as uh, it's called, um, and uh, from you know, the knowledge institutions uh, and the wider business community uh, to really build off of this group. Uh, there's, so much, there's so much potential there. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Those were, those were the, the thoughts that, I, that I've been collecting um, and I think it also leads straight into transition management as well with the idea of broadening and upscaling 